Here we have a 2013 Honda Civic IV Tech five door hatchback in a sort of grey slash brown. Um, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth here, we're looking at a good four millimetres of tread in the centre of the tyre. Offside front tyre, done a sort of a sort of grey finish. Lovely condition there. There's a bit of a scuff mark on the, the outside of the edge of the alloy there, but apart from that, it looks clean. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, there's one or two light little dinks. Um, around the offside, so some light scratches we'll need to polish. Driver's mirror is fine. Uh, driver's door itself, again, just a couple of scratches. Unfortunately, it's very wet today, so it is, does make it a bit harder to have a good look at the car. Uh, it's just some light scratches, really. Door edge isn't bad, both the sills are in nice condition. Rear door, again, it looks like it's had a little bit of paint on, um, on the rear door. I could be wrong, but just be wary of that anyway. Uh, moving towards the rear arch, it looks fine. Uh, there's a bit of a scuff mark on here that I should be able to mop out, to be honest. Same with the one down here, it's not bad. Again, some little scuff marks to the plastics here as well. The rear tyre, you're looking at about three to four mil down the rear. Looking on the rear alloy, nice condition there, no curbing or scuffs. I'm moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. On the rear bumper, you've got a scuff mark down here as well, sorry. So that might need a bit of a smart repair, it's a little bit deeper. Um, some light scratches on the rear bumper will just need a polish. Near side rear quarter again. Plastic, as you can see, slightly sticking out, not a major issue. Some light scratches on the rear quarter there will need a polish as well. But apart from that, it looks fairly clean. As you can see inside the boot, you've got your parcel shelf there, lovely clean condition as well. Reversing camera underneath there as well, so that's a nice feature to the car. Moving around to the near side rear tyre again, you're looking at about three millimetres of tread. On the rear alloy, as we look around here, nice condition, no curbing or scuffs. Looking on the near side of the car, um, again, slight little dink on the front door. Rear door edge is fine, again, some light scratches on the paint. There's a dent down here, which I've just noticed from this angle. So there is a dent there, as you can see, so quite a heavy dent, be wary of that. Door edge is fine, again, a couple of touch-ins and a mop and polish on the front door. Front pass, uh, front passenger mirror is fine, front arch, again, that's nice. And the front tire, you've got about four millimetres. Front alloy, again, looking fairly clean, no curbing and scuff marks there. Move on to the front of the vehicle. Slight little scuff mark underneath the front bumper corner there. Might require smart, you've got the LED daytime running lights. A couple of stone chips around the front end will just require some touch-ins. And a couple of stone chips on the bonnet as well. That's the exterior for the car, if we take a look at the interior. You've got the full sort of cloth uh, interior. It's like a sort of suede material, really nice condition. Very clean and no signs of any damage at all in there. So it's looking very tidy, as you can see. Very clean condition. So that's all good. Driver's seat also in a nice condition, nothing at all to report there. Front passenger seat also looking very tidy. Centre console and uh, dash is all very clean. Gear stick and steering wheel in a lovely condition as well. So all the interior is lovely. Two sets of keys with the vehicle. Stepping inside the car itself. If we just look at the display whilst we start the vehicle. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. It does start perfectly fine. Um, so no issues at all there. CD and radio work perfectly fine. Um, all your blows work great as well. Your reversing camera displayed there, no issues at all functioning that. Um, just trying to go through uh, mileage wise, and if you can see that, we're at uh, 37,336 miles on the clock. Taking a look at your documents now, looking at your V5. It is one owner from you, so only one owner, which is brilliant. MOT certificate, looking at 29th of May 2017, so plenty left on the MOT for the vehicle. And just to top it off guys, it's a full franchise service history uh, with two stamps done at 16 and at 23,000 miles. So full Honda history with the car. That's the lovely 2013 Honda Civic IV Tech ES in the sort of brownie gray. And a nice looking car, which is just a very small amount of work needed doing to it.